So for today's WordPress video, I'm going to show you how you can add testimonials to your website fairly easily with the quotes collection plugin. So I have an example here running on my tutorial site where I have um, a bunch of testimonials on my sidebar and when you click through um, them, you can um, jump to the next one. So this is kind of neat if you want to showcase um, some feedback that you've had from customers or clients on your website. So to do this, you go to your dashboard in your back end of WordPress and go to plugins and add new. Then you search for the quotes collection and you will see the quotes collection plugin and it's uh, the author is Srini G. So that's the one you wanna install. So you click install now. I already have it installed here. And once you've installed it, you'll see this new quotes um, link on your dashboard. So if you click on that, it gives you the opportunity to add quotes. So I've already added a few here, but what you do is you click on add new and then you write your quote, um, whatever you want to say, and then um, put in your author, whoever, and um, source, this could be like a title or something that they have, like um, CEO of whatever company, and um, tags, which I'll, I'll talk about in a bit. You can put some tags in if you want to only display um, certain quotes from, I don't know, if you want to only display certain quotes from on your about page, maybe you put your about tags in there. It's a kind of a way to filter your um, quotes. Anyway, so I click on add new and now this quote is added to my collection. And now I'll show you how to add it to your sidebar. So if you go to appearance and, whoops, appearance widgets, um, so originally this here um, was on my sidebar here, or on this left-hand column. Um, you'll be looking for a widget called random quote. So you want to drag this widget and place it on your main sidebar, or whatever your sidebar is called for your site. And um, so actually I'm going to change this to say testimonials. I'm going to show the author and I'm going to use that Ajax refresh which is allowing you to click through the different quotes. Um, I guess you could also do a random refresh and you can set the time which is kind of neat. Yeah sure let's try it. Let's play around with that. Um, you can set your character limit if you only have if you don't really want a really long quote to show the whole page and um, so click save. Okay, and now when you go back to your site and you hit refresh, you'll now see this random quote in the side. So I put that, um, I set it to about five seconds so you'll see it um, running through my testimonials for about five seconds. So that's kind of neat. And I'll show you really quickly how you can add it to a page. So um, I have it on my about page right now. So here is um, a short code that I used on, um, on just copied and pasted it onto this page to display um, my quotes and I have my limit to one. But actually if I remove that limit and um, actually I don't even need order by then. Say so I remove all that in a very basic quote call. I'll put it on a new line. Um, and I click update here. And if I view my page, you'll see that I actually have all um, my quotes listed. So um, it's not as cool as the sidebar where you can um, scroll through all the different quotes. But if you want something formatted nicely for your testimonials, then this is also a good plugin. And um, while I was looking for testimonial plugins that were really good, I came across this uh, premium plugin from Code Canyon that I'll, I'll link to in my post. So this is a really neat, um, really advanced um, testimonial plugin. So you see the sidebar here, it has just a little bit more formatting with um, a little kind of bubble um, 
quote and it and the person's gravatar and image and you could put it they can um, add ratings um, if that's appropriate to your site what's really cool they also have a front-end submission form so if you're on your site you want to get people to add testimonials and this is a really cool way that people can do it um, and here's some different kind of um, look and feels to this plugin so yeah, I'll link this up in my post and you can take a look at it if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced. But anyway, so that's a quick way that you can add testimonials easily to your WordPress website. And if you like um, this tutorial and wanna learn more about WordPress and what you can do with it, um, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and I update, I send out a new video roughly every week. Okay, thanks so much.